Well, what my blue friend means is that actually the comic had an incredibly stupid premise and story, but after I finished reading it, it actually wasn't that badly executed. The characters were convincing, and while I found plenty of joke opportunities in it, I just felt uncomfortable mocking it. Plus, it was written by the same guy who brought us Psy Spy, and I didn't feel like going through that again. But yeah, robots! Robots get a bad rap. The Terminator, Cylons, Roman. To think for yourself is to be like the human. Yes, to be like the human. To laugh, feel, want. Why are these things not in the plan? Add in the robot duplicates from Ultimates 3, and we have a deep seated fear that the machine uprising will come and destroy us. Let's face it, there are only so many good guy robots Optimus Prime, Johnny Five, Croti Robot, and Tom Servo, K9. Your silliness is noted. And even then, there are still more evil robots than good ones. Or then there's morally ambiguous robots like Bender, who's cool, but he'd still steal your stuff because he felt like it. Neutro, Machine Man, yeah, Machine Man is like Bender, but with built-in weapons. Which is why today we're digging into Strange Adventures number 136, a comic from the Silver Age that shows how robots can truly help mankind. Mind you, this story is only one of three, but hey, since this is a Silver Age comic, it's probably going to be the only one that makes sense. We'll be right back with that after the theme song. Number 11. Robbie the Robot isn't a bad guy. Yeah, who knew there were so many fans of Forbidden Planet among my fanbase? During the introduction to my Strange Adventures number 136 review, I listed off examples of good and evil robots in fiction. When I talked about evil robots, I showed a movie poster from Forbidden Planet that depicted Robbie the Robot, one of the most recognizable robots in movie history, carrying off a woman. I didn't say anything about it, but the implication that he was evil was clear. And now I must confess that sadly, I still haven't seen Forbidden Planet. However, plenty of my fans were quick to point out, nay, seemed outright offended that I had implied that he was evil. In the movie, he was actually the robotic assistant of Dr. Morbius and tried to save the heroes of the film. Still, Robbie the Robot has had a long history in film and television, from Twilight Zone to Lost in Space, and I do apologize about using the inaccurate poster. Robbie the Robot is perfect, and I am an idiot. Forbidden Planet. 